Well, hello there, Sagittarius. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are going to be doing your October general tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. All right, Sag, so let's see what we have going on here your readings lately have been incredible so let's see what we have here dragonfly spirit truth de descends illusion you know um the dragonfly along with the butterfly um are both um symbols of transformation of moving from one cycle into another and i feel as if sad <laughs> you have definitely had that energy lately and blessed yes you know, definitely moving into this energy of feeling really blessed for the life that you have created for yourself, you know, that um, it just kind of like a butterfly that you've had to go into that crystallist type of energy, um, that cocoon energy of really going within, finding, you know, finding your center, finding your purpose understanding that that was all part of your journey and what led up to you going into that restful period is really important but it's now in the past and you're feeling really blessed for all of the the you know even the painful situations that were on your path they have led you to where you are now um such a lovely energy um I'm <laughs> I'm looking at this and just like, oh my goodness, both of these are the number 22. Um, some of you may have already noticed that. Incredible. Master number 22. Working with spirit, understanding that what you are going through, this transformation is divinely guided, that it is helping you to move into a new, more transcendent, okay, um, energy of understanding your spiritual path, your spiritual gifts, your healing abilities, and how to share those with others. My goodness, I, you know, all the tarot readings I've done, I don't think I've ever had the same number come out on both Oracle cards. So uh, really a sign. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of like almost my breath is taken away because it's kind of like that is truly sacred. It's sacred. It's divinely guided. And whatever is on your path, whatever is next, to surrender to it because to know that it is um, truly divinely guided for you. Wow. You know, I'm also um, noticing, if you notice this angel's wings and this down here um, resemble each other, but the dragonfly also has wings. It's as if you are about to really take off, to blossom, okay? Blossom out of this restful period, to rise out of the ashes of something that was very painful in the past and stepping into something where you are rising to be, you know, a spiritual healer, a spiritual guide for others, helping to light the way for other people. Um, wow. So my goodness, let's see what we have here. Okay, we have commitment on the bottom and letting go. You know, for some of you, I actually feel like you're letting go of a commitment that you have had from the past. You know, um, you know, I'm really hearing soul contracts. For some of you, you may be letting go of a soul contract um, that you have had with somebody else. I'm not saying that you're still with this person, but it's almost as if you, you are understanding that in order to step into this energy, you have to let some prior commitment go, a soul contract, somebody that you know, truly could have been a big part of your life. Gender doesn't matter. Somebody that you loved, that you may have put a lot of trust into, but yeah, there's some deception. There was some deception that came out in this situation. Um, it could have just been somebody that was talking about you behind your back. Um, but it's this energy of knowing that you have to, you know, let go of that energy let go of this commitment. Now, if it's a soul contract, that can sometimes be very difficult to, um, you know, to break that 
to feel as if, okay, um, that you want to leave the soul contract and yet at the same time that energy is so strong. Um, so if, you know, you've been in some type of a relationship where you feel like the contract, you all, the two of you had a really deep soul contract and now you're trying to let go of that. This could be, that could be a uh, very difficult, yeah. Okay, so we have justice on the bottom. Okay, <laughs> I love that energy. I feel like karma is coming into play and look at this. Whatever has happened in the past, it's almost as if you are truly coming into this blessed energy of my goodness, I'm so glad that happened. As painful as it was, it's put you onto a new path that was very difficult. You know, we have all of these retrogrades still in play in October. Um, and so during retrogrades, we can have people or situations returning from the past, even if they don't physically return, right? Their energy can return. I feel like you may have some of that coming into play, but it's a good thing because karma is coming in. It's almost as if the universe is allowing karma to play out in your favor. Um, you are going to feel very blessed by this. If you are in some type of court uh, um, or legal settlement or dispute or something like that. Um, it, it's going to come out in your favor, whatever that is. There is something that is having to come to an end in order for something new to start. And I want to say, you have the emperor and the empress here, right? And you have the king of wands. I feel as if this could be um, exactly who you are at this time, Sag, and gender doesn't matter. It's kind of like stepping into this energy of being a spiritual healer or leader, uh, using your spiritual gifts, your creative abilities, going out there, building the business that you want to. Um, and as you do that, okay, you are truly ending a cycle of karma Okay, that was very difficult and attracting in somebody new. And once again, gender doesn't matter. It's your divine counterpart. <laughs> okay, there is nothing more um, spiritually aligned than the emperor and the empress, except oh, you have the hierophant and the high priestess, right? Um, this is, this trumps, if you will, all of the other court pairs, right? The swords, you know, the cups, the wands, and um, on the pentacles. So this is a true divine counterpart. I feel like you're stepping into this energy. You're attracting in because remember, we attract in what we are because you are having the courage, okay? The, the inspiration, the determination to move forward, even though some, you know, situation is coming to an end. Um, and you know, it's letting go of one soul contract so that you can actually um, allow another one to come in. I feel like the, the situation that you're letting go of is, you know, somebody that's not really in your life anymore, perhaps, but, you know, you could have been getting a divorce or if it's a business partner or something like that, it, it's been kind of dragged out, if you will, right? And now it's kind of like almost like coming to an end, a true end. The Empress also represents to me the Phoenix Rising card. I feel... You know, once again, like you're the phoenix rising in this situation. Um, part of this is truly because, you know, you've taken the time to, to do that deep healing, but you've also taken the time to take the high road. I know that energy has been in your readings for some time. Just constantly going back to what is for my highest good, right? Um, is, you know, retaliating in, you know, trickery or manipulation or, or meanness, you know, is that for my highest good? And you've said no, con consistently, even if somebody else was playing what we'll say dirty, right? Somebody else that you may have been involved with, okay, may have been playing dirty. We'll call it that, right? Um, but you have held your optimism. <laughs> you have stayed strong and known that your angels were behind you. It's taking the high road through this difficult situation. 
that is allowing the universe to come in and bring you exactly what it is that you want. Um, so your present energy. Yeah, we have family, friends, and guides. And then we have the three of swords. So some true disappointment. I don't think this is a new disappointment. I feel, once again, with the retrogrades or you're clearing out this energy, right? For some of you, it could have been family and friends that brought in this difficult energy. Um, and that is really hard when our family and friends kind of desert us, especially in our time of need or are talking about us behind our back, right? Or betraying us, outright betraying us. For some of you, um, interesting, because I don't normally get this energy, but if you have been in court, you know, perhaps um, trying to get a settlement or divorce court or, you know, child custody or something, you could have had a very close family member or a friend that took, took the, uh, d opposed you. Okay. Let's put it that way. They may have said unkind things about you in court. Okay. That were not really truly founded or, you know, tweaked or whatever to help the other person. Um, that's really, if that is you, um, I really send you lots of love because I, I've never had that situation in court. Um, but that would be very difficult as somebody, you know, st stood up for somebody else in court. Um, so I feel like your present energy is a little bit about having a difficulty trusting the people that are around you. And that is one of the reasons why you have gone into this cocoon. It's kind of like, I have to protect myself. I have to go within and heal because we have the four of swords under here. I have to go in and heal. Um, I think all of this betrayal has made you feel unworthy right? But you're stepping back into your queen of pentacles energy of taking good care of yourself, staying grounded, nurturing yourself, nurturing those that are in your safe bubble, you know, especially if you have young children or something like that. Understanding that, you know, whatever has occurred has been part of your transformation. I feel like that is the thing that is kind of keeping you even keeled at this time, even though there could be some really difficult things swirling around you, difficult energies. You're kind of like staying above it. <laughs> you see how she's kind of like on this orb, right? Just kind of like staying above it. You're staying, being able to stay above it because I feel like you have a bigger spiritual sense of what is going on. You understand um, soul contracts. You understand why this is all playing out. It doesn't make it easier maybe, but it's kind of like, okay, I see the bigger picture here and I can take the high road. I'm not going to, um, you know, resort to this kind of energy. I feel like, you know, for some of you, there is a little bit of that you held back there. You could have retaliated. There is something I almost feel like you may have a little secret about this other person, but you're taking the high road. You're not. It's kind of like you're not advertising that information, even though it might help you a little bit, especially in court or in some kind of litigation or settlement. You're just taking the high road because you kind of understand that that's bad karma <laughs> or it's kind of like, it's really not, you know, I might gain a little bit out of it, but it's not worth it, you know. Um, so I send you a lot of love and light because that takes a lot to not retaliate. Wow. Yeah. Um, we have the six of cups on the bottom. Yeah. I feel like, you know, there's the king of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles here. I feel like it is maybe perhaps somebody that you were married to. Um, you're staying really focused on though, on your spirituality. I think you're you're also looking to your spirit guides and angels to help you through this situation, to um, meditate, to stay grounded with that queen of pentacles, taking really good care of yourself. 
um, not allowing your emotions to drive your actions at this time, understanding that by going within and listening to your heart and to your spirit guides that you will come through this <laughs> and it, it will be well. Um, that's going to help you open up to more options in the future. So let's take a look at what your obstacle for the month is. Now remember, Sag, you're going to overcome your obstacle. Kindred partnerships and the Knight of Swords. Um, this is, once again, that energy that there are people around you that are basically doing whatever they want to do to benefit themselves and they're not taking you into consideration. You know, sometimes when we recognize that <laughs> and our intuition tells us, you know, it doesn't really matter how nasty of a game I play, this person is going to go there. They'll just, it's almost as if you recognize the fact that if you were to start going nasty in this conflict, right, whatever this is, that they would only get nastier. And it's kind of like, I feel like you recognize, why do I even want to go down that road? It's almost as if you are surrendering to the journey of whatever painful experience this is and allowing the universe and karma to, to do its work <laughs> with this person. You know, that what this person, um, karma is, we reap the benefits that we sow, right? And this person is going to reap the benefits, which are not benefits, that they are sowing. And you're kind of like, why do I even want to go down that path? Once again, it's like staying really clear with your spirituality of not being drawn in. And I think it's going to be very difficult. I think this person is, it's almost a sense of, you know, slinging mud, you know. Um, and now, you know, one of the things I'm going to say is that when people go to there, it's, it's really because they have pain in their own heart, right? And when we're in pain, right, we want to retaliate against other people. We want other people to be in pain. I think you've learned that lesson, that you know that, you know, going there doesn't help anybody and it definitely doesn't help you. So it's kind of like, okay, I'm... I'm going to steer clear of getting, look at independent, nine of pentacles. I'm going to stay independent and clear of any nastiness, you know? And I hate to use that word, but Saj, that's the energy that I'm getting here. So it's like, okay, I'm going to stay clear of that, but it's at the same time, let's see, you know, how do we maneuver through this? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> your energy is lovely. I think you just, it's kind of like you're just going to have to float through this um, because you are the king of cups, staying on top of your emotions, not allowing your emotions to drive some of your actions, right? I think that perhaps just hearing this advice from spirit in this reading, and of course this won't, you know, resonate with everybody, but if it does resonate with you, to understand this is going to be short term, it's going to last. If you were to jump into this, right, and retaliate, the problem is, is that it would last longer and it wouldn't do you any good. And I feel like you know that, right? I'm going to stay on top of my emotions. <laughs> I'm not going to jump into this. Um, I'm going to, you know, put my time and energy into thinking loving thoughts, you know, with the two of cups. I'm going to stay in the, in the area of love, listening to your high, um, your higher good, your intuition, taking actions based on what your intuition tells you and, and, and grounded, you know, just staying really grounded on top of your emotions and not allowing this person to draw. I think this person almost wants to draw you into this conflict for some reason. It's almost as if they feel like if they can draw you into this conflict, they're going to win. They're, they know how to push your buttons. Okay, that's what my guides are saying. They kind of know how to push your buttons. So they're wanting to push your buttons because if they can push your buttons, okay, then what's going to happen is you might flare up. You might, you might prove in a way this person right, okay, and in 
and it's a, just a perception, okay? So it's almost as if, yeah, just lay low, put a smile on your face, and know that your your guides and your angels are with you. The universe is going to work its magic on this person. You do not need to. Um, okay, so your advice is, yes, okay. Yeah, the person that you're dealing with from the past, their energy is very fragmented. And because of that, they are trying to pull you in. It really is kind of sad because, Sag, I feel like you have somebody that's in your life that their life isn't where they want it to be. They're they're feeling very sad and and fragmented and so it's almost as if they want to draw you they see you as this person that is rising <laughs> that is having wonderful things come into their life and they're kind of like wait a minute you know i don't want that to be for sag um so yeah yeah i i feel like they are going to communicate yeah, you're the empress. They want a fresh start with you. The th funny thing is, and it comes in very suddenly, two of cups, the world, you know. The, I feel um, there's a little bit of this energy where you could be dealing with a cancer. There's cancer energy here, Aries energy. It's almost as if they come in, they have a broken heart, but the way that they're coming in, Sag, it doesn't seem like a broken heart because it's almost as if they are kind of like trying to retaliate just to get you maybe to talk to you. They want you to talk to them, I guess is what I should say, right? Um, you could have said, okay, I'm not having any contact with you. And they are kind of like, okay, I need to get Saj to talk to me. So they're almost like coming in, right? In, in, in they're, they're coming in in, a, in a, a way to kind of anger you just to get you to talk to them. Their heart is broken. They do miss you. Um, moving away from this person, though, you have new love coming in you're stepping into a new world this is not a person that you want to be with you know but you cannot attract in this new person because remember you have the emperor and the empress here you cannot attract in this new person until you clear this energy out the best way to clear this energy out is just to ignore it well, Sag, I am, <laughs> I, I do, I, um, I feel like this is a difficult energy, and yet at the same time, I see you kind of honestly being kind of calm about it. It's kind of like, yeah, that's, it. that's okay, that's them, you know, whereas, I, you know, that's part of it, um, I think this person comes back or there's some kind of shenanigans here, right? But when they come back around this time with their shenanigans, it is as if you're kind of like, I see it. I see it for what it is. And I'm not going to be drawn into it. In the past, you may have jumped into this, okay? Um, but you have learned, okay, this really isn't somebody that I want to to be with anymore i've ascended i'm above this right so this time when they come around you're just kind of like okay you know i'm not going to i'm not going to jump into this at all i'm just going to write it out because i know after a while they'll go away or whatever you know it's um it's almost this energy of, yes, I'm just going to let them pass on by because you know that there is something much better for you down the line. And you do. You have something much better. But this person cannot come in until it's like you allow this person to go on by. If every time this person comes in, you jump back into it somehow, even a little bit, right? You're giving this person time and energy. It's almost as if this person, this new person cannot come in because you have the two of cups, the world, right? Coming into a new chapter in your life, in the world of love. 
Um, this person cannot come in until you no longer are willing to give this past person any time or energy. Wow. Your effortless effort is fully required. Oh my gosh. Is that not like perfect? Yeah. No effort. <laughs> It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not putting any effort into this. It's going to, I mean, Saj, let's be honest, right? It's going to take effort, right? Effortless effort to um, allow this person to pass on by, you know? But at the same time, it's kind of like, I almost feel like you're, you're sitting in a car or, you know, maybe even a limousine, you know, you've really, you've, <laughs> you've come up in the world, right? So it's kind of like you're sitting in this limousine, right? And this person is on a bicycle, maybe even a tricycle <laughs> and they're riding next to the limousine, right? And you're kind of like just waving. You know, it's it's this energy of I don't have to play those games anymore. I'm I'm somewhere better. I'm off to something better. Oh my goodness. Well, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. I do wish you much love and light. I do do personal reading, so if you're interested, the link is in the description box below, and I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.